Black markets kids ran in their schools. The guide that shared this story said that he went to a pretty small high school. Well, all the teachers would use a whiteboard during their lessons. But there was one teacher that liked to hoard all of the markers. All right, class, I'm just gonna write in the board so you can remember it for tomorrow. Just need to find my markers. Um, where are my markers? Oh, I saw Mr. Stevens come in here earlier and he took a bunch of your markers. He's got like 50 of them in his classroom. <laughs> Not again. Well, this gave this guy a brilliant idea. He took that teacher's class, and every time he was in there, he would grab a few markers before he left. It got to the point where he had gathered a ton of these Expo markers. And then what he did was he provided them to teachers in need. I was gonna write it on the board, but um, all my markers seem to be gone again, thanks to Mr. Stevens. <laughs> Psst. Kyle, what? Psst. What's up? You need markers, I got markers. I got markers. Oh, okay. Show me what you got. <laughs> I'll take three. My pleasure. He became a lifesaver to these teachers. It got to the point where if a teacher was writing on the board and it started to squeak, meaning it was out of the ink, they would just give him a glance. And this is what it should... should look like. The teachers didn't pay him for the markers, but this did go a long way. They started giving him a lot of flexibility. Extra days to complete homework assignments, extra time on tests, unlimited bathroom passes, you name it. This kid breezed through high school because of this hustle he ran. And I just gotta say, that is absolutely brilliant. 